Welcome, we're almost done now with the circle theorems. Yeah? So check my site, explainingmaps.com, where you'll find all my uh, videos about them, plus everything else uh, nicely organized. Yeah? So we've spoken about angles at the center of the circle, we've spoken about angles in the same segment, cyclic quadrilaterals, and I promise I just very briefly will talk about some tangents and circles. And um, as you know, a tangent is, is, is a touch line. Yeah? So it just touches the circle at, let's say, this point at the circumference. So um, with a mark, it's a little bit difficult to construct it, but okay, do you see that's a tangent? Yeah, it's just touching the circle at the circumference at that point. Now, what is important about tangents? Two things you need to know, okay? First of all, the angle between the radius of the circle and the tangent, so from the center of the circle to the circumference, the angle it makes with the tangent is always a right angle. Okay, so that is 90 degrees perpendicular. That's the first thing you need to know, okay? So the angle between a radius and a tangent is always 90 degrees, good. The second thing you need to know about tangents and circles, let's have a, have a new circle there. Um, the second thing you need to know, if I have, let's say a point here, uh, an external point, let's call it uh, S, okay? And I draw a tangent, let's say to here, but I'm, yeah, well, I, I can make it longer if you want, I can erase it later. Yeah, so a tangent like that. Oh, were you able to see that by the way? I'm not sure if I was still in the video. Anyway, I'm sure you can see the tangent I just drew. And let's say over here. Okay, so I draw two tangents from an external point. Yeah, now let me just erase everything which goes beyond the, the touch point. Yeah, so let's say it touches there and it touches there. Okay, then the length of this tangent is equal to the length of that tangent. So they are equal, okay? And why is that important? Well, because you will create some sort of isosceles triangle with yeah, tangent from an external point, two tangents, yeah? Or if you go like this, you have a kite. You see that? This is a kite, so from an external point, because this is a radius, that is a radius, so they are equal in length. Okay, and from an external point to the circumference of a circle, those lengths will also be equal. Okay, so those are the things you need to know about, um, about tangents. And of course, by the way, you can say that because that is a raise, that is a tangent, that this angle again is 90 degrees. Yeah, that's 90 degrees perpendicular yeah, between the radius and the tangent. Good. Now, that was, or those were the circle theorems, and I hope you realize there are not that many to know. Yeah, and I told you, you need to identify is it going through the center of the circle or not. Yeah, if it is, you're probably looking at this one, especially when they talk about diameters. Yeah, be careful because you're looking at right angle triangles. Yeah, so Pythagoras, trigonometry, all these things, yeah, you probably will have to use. Doesn't, does it uh, does not go through the center? Look for a cyclic quadrilateral. Look for a bow tie, yeah? angles in the same segment. And these things about tangents, you need to be familiar with what I've just said, okay? Because that is a kite. Good, like and share if this was useful for you, okay? Then I can help your friends too. I, I, I'd really appreciate if you would do that. Um, only if it was useful, otherwise not, of course. And check my site, explainingmaps.com, where you find all my resources. You can also ask me questions there. You can also ask me questions on Facebook, by the way, or on Twitter. Uh, just type in explainingmaths.com. I wish you a very pleasant day. Bye-bye.